Hello, my Pisces. Oh, okay. Got one already. This is your daily for the 17th through the 18th for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have Peaceful Warrior, Archangel Ariel. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Maybe some of you are on the cusp of um, Aries here. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Um, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what tarot messages we have for my Pisces friends today. Pisces. Ooh, change. Change, for sure. Hmm, some of you are fighting change. Huh. Some of you are fighting somebody does, that does not want to change and is bringing some foolishness your way. Um, I don't think you're having it, though. Hmm. Let's see what else. Yeah, I think that's what, what this is. It's like, um, it's almost like you guys are on guard. Um, against somebody that you feel like they are fighting change you are like ready to light their asses up um, but I think that if you know if you got somebody that's not like really vibing with you and you guys are not on the same page you know you know how to calm it down and speak to them in a way where it's not like aggressive and argumentative and just say hey I don't agree with that I just don't, you know, that's not how I look at things. But I think this person kind of gets on your nerves. <laughs> Maybe a Scorpio here, okay? Let's see why this is happening. <laughs> this is funny to me because I know somebody like this. We have a Seven of Wands. Let's see what else. The Five of Cups. And the three of wands. Yeah, there's somebody here that's really fighting change and it really irks your nerves. I think that you wanted to give this person a chance or you want to give this person a chance, but they are, um, they probably are somebody that um, they don't really like to budge is what I'm feeling. Maybe they have like um, Libra in their chart even quite possibly but you know they don't like to change um, they don't like change and if you are like on the cusp of Pisces Aries um, we are all about change and forward movement <laughs> so um, yeah that can be a little annoying but I think um, I think this person is really fighting their struggling. I think they want to, though. I think they're probably more set in their ways than anything. But it's turning you off, I feel. And you guys are probably looking to drop this. Okay? You're, you're just kind of like, maybe this is not going to work out. Maybe there's better out there for me. Is what I'm getting here. Okay? Let's see what is the influence here. Hmm. Knight of Swords, the Two of Swords, I call Libra and they come. Um, yeah, I think you are very unsure about this person. This person, you know, it's like, I feel like they want to change because they they feel like you're going to go off on them at some point. Maybe you guys have kind of not really hinted to that you're annoyed, but they probably kind of sense it. And um, maybe you have told them about some things that, you know, you probably don't like that you feel like need to be addressed, maybe changed up a little bit. And I think they're fighting it. I think this person probably also has a level of aggression that they are not really showing to you at this time, um, but they really want to say something to you. Maybe this person is passive aggressive and you kind of sense that. I don't know what this 
change that they're, you know, what this change is that they're trying to avoid. But there's something about this person I feel like that just really kind of um, irks you. All right. Let's see what the, um, let's see what the advice is here. Hmm. Two things here for you guys. Um, you do not have to be with this person. I feel like you guys do have options. Okay. Um, and I feel like, you know, if, if you are really not getting along with this person or you feel like they're not the person for you, then you do have the option to walk away. You also have the option to really sit them down and discuss truthfully how you feel if you feel like this person is worth it. Okay. And then there is, there is, um, there is a need also here to really kind of look inside yourself and see if it's something that, um, something that you are seeing or doing that's not really, um, what do you call it? What, am, what word am I looking for here? Man, maybe it's not fair. Maybe it's not logical for you to expect this person to um, say certain things or to behave a certain way, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so my advice to you guys, this is just my advice. If this person you feel like, you know, you can't get with them, you can't get with how they speak, you can't get with how they think, then I mean... Either it's something that you need to address within yourself if you can really deal with it, or it's time to look for something that is better suited for you. Okay, and that's just me speaking. All right, guys, so I will be speaking with you soon.